Leger's large still life compositions of the 1920s are his most effective and fully realized purist compositions. During this period, he was assembling seemingly random groups of ordinary objects and putting them together in what would seem a haphazard fashion to manifest their structural identity apart from any functionality. Leger magnifies every component of the piece to an extraordinary dimension. Here we see him using the vertical format that he favored in this period, and the work is divided into two halves by a red wall, in the middle of which we see a transverse molding, and two hung pictures, one of which is the pair of female cameos that is denoted in the subtitle. On the right-hand side, we have the only organic form in the composition, uh, the plant. And those leaves of the plant, you can see them like everything else in the composition, are reductive. They're, they almost look like they've been mechanized. Leger also utilizes flat, unmodulated colors to suggest an unreal universe. Leger responded to the same call to order that the Parisian avant-garde took up after World War I. This painting in particular has a distinguished history, having probably been purchased directly from Leonce Rosenberg by the distinguished curator and former director of the Guggenheim Museum, James Johnson Sweeney. At 51 inches tall, it's remarkable to look at. It's extremely stylish and deco and really captures the flavor of the period.